uh, or in the case of carbon capture, for example, not only does it hardly exist at the commercial scale, but it hardly even reduces uh, carbon at all. The Petronova plant in Texas is the one carbon capture facility associated with a, a fossil fuel coal plant in the U.S. and it's only of of the it's supposed to reduce 100% emissions, and it of the 100% it's supposed to reduce, it's only reducing 20% emissions at the cost. And just for the carbon capture equipment added to the coal, coal plant, it could have been the entire coal plant could have been replaced with clean renewable energy. Uh, and then plus the carbon capture equipment increases the emissions of all the other pollutants aside from carbon by about 25% because that's how much more energy it requires. They they built a gas plant just to run the carbon capture equipment. This is how inefficient this whole system is. They had to build a natural gas plant to run the carbon capture equipment to reduce the coal, the CO2 emissions from the coal plant. Anyway, so, but these things are, these boondoggles have become so expensive and people are now realizing, a lot of people are realizing, not everybody, but a lot of people are still real, are realizing that these technologies are not good solutions to this to these problems. And so as a result, that's helped clear the way for more support for the renewables is what what we need because from the scientific point of view, the renewables are what will solve the problem, uh, problems, the main problems of global warming, air pollution, and energy security together.